In this video, I'm going to quickly explain what these scenario inputs are in make.com and how you can use them. Generally, in order to run a scenario, you either schedule that scenario to run at regular intervals or you use webhooks or instant triggers. There's on-demand scheduling, which means that this is going to wait, I'll click activate scenario, this is going to wait for either you to click run once at the bottom left or it's waiting for this to be externally triggered. In this example, we're just going to click run once in order to run it. For the scenario input, we can define mandatory data that we need to add every single time the scenario is run. In this really simple example, we're going to interact with a stock photo library called Pixabay. We're making a simple request to get a bunch of search results. Then we're gonna pick the first search result and upload that to Google Drive. In this example, we've hard coded the search term of birds, whereas we're gonna to want to make this dynamic. In this example, we're not going to use Airtable or Google Sheets or Slack or some external trigger. We want to dynamically send in data every single time it's run, but do it when we click the run once button. You could do this via variables, but it's actually a better option to enforce this true scenario inputs. So I'll give you an example. In scenario inputs, go to add item. I'm gonna type in search term, type of text, and make it required. And you can add in lots of different fields and then, under this, go to custom and system variables at the top, and then you will see the scenario input up here of search term, click OK. Now when I click run once, this search term shows up, and I then need to add in a search term. So let's say instead of birds, I'll type in office, I'll click OK. By the way, I've temporarily set up a filter so it does not up loaded to Google Drive, but let's see the result. So it looks like it responded okay. Let's have a look at the result. And there we go, we have a picture of an office. For these scenario inputs, you can add in as many of these items as you want and actually have a member of a team working directly within Make. It's not always the best option, but if you want to do something quickly, if you do not want to integrate with Airtable or any other external system as your starting point, Make.com can be your entry point into a scenario using these scenario inputs. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to get way ahead in your automation journey, check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of these courses, all of our automation templates, weekly workshops, and pro level support to get you way ahead. Thanks for watching.